Okay, so we know the three uh, process measures uh, of uh, throughput, inventory, and, and, and flow time, and they are related in, in this process map. Now, just a brief uh, discussion about this process measure or flow time in a process. Flow time is the total time of a flow unit uh, to flow through the process. It is important to know um, uh, operationally define what a flow time is. In other words, what is, in a general way, what's the starting point and ending point of that process is. So, if this is account receivable, is it from the time of an account receivable document is submitted until it's collected? Is it a, a, a factory process from the time the, an order arrives until an order is shipped? So in a general way, it's good to know what is the operational definition of the flow time. The other important feature to know about the flow time is of a flow unit is the units we're measuring have to be somewhat homogeneous. They should be similar. So, uh, for example, in a law firm, if you're trying to determine the flow time of a case, what is that case? There are major cases and minor cases, and you can't simply combine these and take an average flow time. Sometimes you may have to weigh the cases so you have some level of homogeneity. So in other words, when you say the average flow time, what does that average represent? Uh, we can use that average if we're uh, uh, referring to homogeneous, somewhat homogeneous flow units through the process. So, so this is the part of the, of the process we're taking, considering. And we know a variety of ways you can, you can measure the flow time. You can observe, you can simulate. Um, or you can use this relationship to determine the flow time of the process. Obviously, you have to have average inventory and the flow rate of the process to determine the flow unit. The total flow time of a flow unit through the process has two components. One is the activity time. That's where the actual work takes place, or the work time, generally represented as such in a, in a flow map, plus the buffer time. Oftentimes, the buffer time, we can think of the buffer time as wait time. So there are two components of the flow time, act total flow time, and that's activity time and, and buffer time. <coughs> For the most part, a uh, considerable, considerable amount of the total flow time is, is actually buffer time or the wait time. The theoretical flow time is, is, is the amount of time it takes to process a flow unit without waiting. So a theoretical flow time is an idealized time. No waiting.